Hey, was geht a liut Hey, was geht a Leute? How you gotta do like a German accent? How do you do a German? Hey, was geht a Leute? Daniel Tiesler said I should do a whole video in German, but I don't know German, so I figured I'd just uh, start the vlog off with uh, a quick little German phrase. I think I got it. You let me know, Daniel. Hey, was geht? Uh, Leute. I don't I'm sorry I suck so anyway I want to start off the vlog with a tutorial on how to do little planets so if you guys checked out my Instagram like I do pictures like this sometimes these are called little planets so basically the way that I do it is I use my 360 rig which is this right here with six GoPro Hero 4 blacks in it Using the 360 mount with six GoPro Hero 4 blacks in there gives you the, uh, the best setting to make an awesome little planet. You could do it with one GoPro. It's not gonna look that good, but it's definitely possible. So after I do the more uh, advanced way of doing a little planet, I'll show you guys how to do it with one GoPro. And all you need is an app on your phone and you can do cool little planets. Okay, so I'm using Color Auto Pano Video Pro 2 to do my little planet. Uh, you can see here I have the uh, six GoPro cameras stitched together already. So what you want to do is down here, go to authoring. Click authoring. Here in the left corner, you got the option to switch from spherical to little planet. So it's that simple. There you go. That's a little planet. Now we can manipulate the image a little bit to make it look exactly how you want. So the first thing I would recommend to do is uh, switch it from two two to one to 16 by nine and do apply. Now the cool thing is um, when your mouse is in here, you just, uh, if you have a scrolly thing on your mouse, you can zoom in. Say you wanna do something sort of like that. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, let's just say you're happy with this image right here. So I'm just gonna make this very small so that only like one or two frames are exported. Okay, now what you can do is go to render and then instead of MP4, do frames. Uh, you can choose, you know, do whatever you want here. JPEG, uh, PNG. I'm gonna choose PNG and I'm gonna choose my location to where I wanna save it to. Just hit render. Okay, here we go. It's almost done. It looks like it's exporting one, two, like five frames. It's still exporting. But if I just go to the first one, you'll see there you go, it's a little planet. Now, if you're not happy with how the like how this looks, you just zoom out even more and you get exactly what you want. Okay, so let's say you want your clip to look, to start in this position, right? So I'm gonna put this marker here. Now what you wanna do is, we wanna click this button here on the right. We're gonna double click in the orientation setting and we're gonna double click into the projection setting. I'm gonna go back to the, uh, the mouse. I'm actually gonna move this to about here. Make sure these are both lined up. So I'm gonna extend this out, extend this out. Um, these are both lined up. You wanna make sure that they're lined up perfectly. Awesome. Okay, so basically the clip is gonna start in this position here. And when it gets to the end, the uh, basically the little planet, I want it to look like that. So let's click apply. So this is kind of like a keyframe. So let me bring it back to the beginning and press play and you'll see exactly how it works. So there you go. And then you can obviously, if you want, add another one. And the longer you extend it out, the longer it takes to get from the first position to the second. So now it's gonna go from that to that. And I want it to change again to maybe zoom in. No, yeah, about right there. And I wanted to do something kind of like this. I don't even know what that's gonna do. But let me hit apply, and um, let's see what happens. It's probably gonna look really weird. Very weird. But there you go, that's how you do little planets. Now, I'm gonna show you um, a really simple way to do this if you have just a GoPro or a camera with a really wide angle lens. Now, a few recommendations before we get started is to capture 
a shot that's kind of uh, wide, of course. No objects in the shot that are really close to the camera. And you want to capture something that's like just a long distance, kind of like a beach with just the, you know, just the horizon out there. Uh, nice landscape for maybe a mountaintop looking outwards. That's going to be the best. If you're just taking a selfie, it's going to look weird. So here, let's check it out. This is the app. It's called Little Planet. Okay, so I'm going to import a picture here. And you want to make sure when you import a picture that the horizon is straight. Um, I have to fix this image because it didn't have a straight horizon. Now you have different, I you know, like options down here to change up the, uh, the little planet. Rotate it, uh, change the longitude, the latitude, uh, the vertical position. You could zoom it in, zoom it out. And then, I mean, that's it. And then you just save it and uh, you got yourself a little planet using one camera. So if you guys decide to try this out, make sure you tag me. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. That's my name right here, Jeremy Sharapa. And if you do, I'll check it out, give you guys a like, and leave a comment. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing your recreations of little planets. So I'm actually home alone all the rest of this week. Diana's going to Texas. She's actually flying there right now. She's probably gonna land in an hour or so. Uh, so she'll be back Sunday. So I got the whole place to myself. So I actually just posted on Twitter. I used one of their, uh, their new poll options. And I posted, should I upload a tutorial today? Or should I upload a Q&A video? Uh, so one person voted, thanks Kevin, uh, for leaving that one vote. He requested a tutorial, so that's why the tutorial is going up today. Uh, if you guys want to be, if you guys want to interact with me more outside of YouTube, I'm on Twitter. So uh, if you want to follow me on there, awesome. I got Instagram. If you want to follow me on there, awesome. Uh, so I'm working on another video, Q and A video. If you guys have any questions that you want to ask for me to answer, leave the questions down below. I actually already got started on the video. It's like halfway done, but I can incorporate some more comments if you guys leave them down in the comment section. So that's the end of this vlog slash tutorial video. I hope you guys found it helpful and I'm looking forward to seeing your recreations of the little planets. All right guys. See ya. Bye.